This is Jennifer Scruba, and this demonstration is for how to create a lid when you have a piece just like this. And Michelle Liu, one of my students, wanted a lid that was domed right here. And if you look at her reference picture, she wanted the V to come down like that. So she actually wants this part to be part of the lid. And she said, what is the best way to do that? So if you look at her reference images, what we're going to need to do is create a piece and attach it right here. So what I did first was I made a small ball of clay, about the same size it would fit inside here, maybe a little bit smaller. The next thing I did is I put it in my palm and I pushed. I'm right-handed, so this is my right thumb. Gently push, just with your thumb, around and around. If it starts to crack, just add a little bit of water. Mine's soft right now, so I don't need to add some water. So when I did this, what I noticed is I tried the head on and it was too tall. All you need to do is take your fettling knife. And if you've ever peeled an apple before, you can just cut some of it away. So keep shaving it away until you have a better height. Again and again. And you can even flatten it out some just by tapping it on the table. So here I've spent some time and I have my lid right here that's hollow but I actually want to attach it. So to do that, you're going to need a slip, which is just clay plus water, and then you're gonna need something to score the surface, which is like scratching the surface, because this clay is harder and this clay is softer. So I'm just going to use my fettling knife, and I'm going to scratch a bunch of times over here. Scoring, if you think about a zipper or Velcro, scratches the surface so it's ready to accept new clay. I'll set this down. Doesn't have to be pretty. Okay, so here we've scored this surface. You also need to score the surface of the piece that is going to be attached. So lots of scratching, crisscrossing. I like to do some X's on it. Don't spend it very much time on the scoring. It's just enough to make it happen. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and add some slip. I'm just using my wooden modeling tool, tapping some slip. So the process is going to be slip, score, attach, and then blend. So we're gonna fit it on right there. It's hollow on the inside. And I'm gonna take a little bit of clay and roll a coil between my hands. That's what I'm doing right now that you can't see. And I'm going to reinforce around the entire head with extra clay. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out. So imagining that I did this all the way around, I would ideally wait for this to become leather hard. And my next step would be to lightly draw, again, where I wanted to cut the piece. So for example, she said she wanted this to be part of it. So I like to draw it out. And then you would continue around the back. And then continue around the back. And then your next step would be to take the fuddling knife right here. And again, I'm speeding through this just so you can see, and get the general idea. Actually cut into the clay and start to cut away and remove that. So let's actually cut hers. There is a sharp side to the knife if you pay attention. You just have to look really close. Cut, cut, cut. So this would have been blended, but we didn't do that. Let's see what it looks like. This is my lid, so I wanna be very careful with it. And here you have the pointed part in this part. So to keep the exact shape, I wouldn't touch it for very long. I wouldn't touch it right away. I would leave it and let it stiffen. Then I would go back and blend it. But this still kind of interlocks, but if you really want to be sure that it interlocks, you can go ahead and add, sorry if you can see this, some fangs underneath here. Even one fang coming straight down and blending into this piece right here. When you put it on, it keeps it from falling or sliding off. So think about looks-wise, you could do something fun for fangs too. But that's how you would create a fitted lid 
that goes with the profile of your piece. And you also need to think about the handle. So are the ears gonna go on here? They're gonna go on the side? Are they gonna be on both? That could help it to interlock as well.